Yo, what's going on, everybody? My name is James, and um, my name is Sleepy Flame on Parabot. And basically, people who have just bought VIP or people in general who try adding scripts to this bot um, are very unsuccessful. They have no idea what to do. They ask for countless help, however, no one really gives out that amount of help that they need. So I'm going to go into an in-depth, kind of quick tutorial on how to add scripts to Par Parabot, not Parabot. And um, basically, you just go to parabot.org, and you're going to want to download it. I already have it downloaded, but I might as well do it again. So once downloaded, you can obviously keep it and save it to wherever you want. I'm going to bring this straight to my desktop down there, but it's already there, so we'll keep it just like this. Uh, after that, you're also going to want to make sure you have the updated Java version, which you can get by going to java.com and clicking free Java download, and it will give you the newest version. You're also going to want to go to java.sun.com, which brings you to this page. It just redirects, and you're going to want to click Java SE under top downloads. From there, you're going to want to scroll down and see the Java SE whatever update this is. I don't know when you're watching this video, but you're going to want to get the top one and download the JDK. I've already downloaded this version, but once you click it, it'll just ask you to accept, and then you select your um, operating system. Install that, and then you're updated with all of your Java. You don't need those anymore. Now, next, you're going to want to obviously get your script or um, run Powerbot to get a documents folder. Once you run, you're obviously just going to log into your Parabot. I probably said power about a few times. They're very close, so just excuse me. Uh, start it. You don't really need to log in yet. Just keep it open like this and close it, so that way you'll get a documents folder of what your PowerBot PowerBot is right there. And um, as you can see, yours is only going to have the PowerBot and um, maybe the scripts and settings. I'm not too sure. I did this a while ago, but you're going to want to make the run and compile. Um, Go to bat files. And basically, this runs the bot in development mode, so you can add your own scripts. So before we do anything, we are going to add both of those. You're going to want to right-click on your Parabot, go to New Text Document, just open that text document, and in the description, I'll paste the run and the compile um, commands that you're going to want to put in here. You're just going to want to simply paste it, file, save as, and type it as run.bat. Make sure you make save as, type all files, and click save. I've already done this for both of them, and I'll put the compiler. You do the same thing for the compiler. And um, then you have a run in compiler.bat. Now you're ready for the script part. You're going to want to go to parabot.org and click forums right here. And you'll be able to scroll down and get a whole list of scripts. I went through and got cooker uh, because I just figured these are the most difficult ones. I've already looked through the source and whatnot, and it has what most people get confused with. And you actually don't need this compiling service for this one, but anyway, I'll show that later. You're going to want to download the, uh, make sure it works with 1.4, because that's the current update. And then you're going to want to go to the download link that they give you. And I've already downloaded it seven times for the sake of this video of how many times I've tried making it. And uh, just messed up and didn't like it. You're going to want to type in the word verification thing, and it's going to bring you to your download. Just click download, and it'll go down here. You can open it when it's done. And you don't really need the SRC, but just just um, extract it to your desktop, and from there, you're going to want to open the SRC folder. Com, you don't need any of this. Just open the pcooker, and then from here is where people usually get confused. You're going to want to go into your scripts sources folder, and, um, <clears throat> hold on a second, actually. Yeah, you're going to want to go to your scripts sources folder, and right here is where you can drag everything you need, just the two TXT files right here. And then you go into Utils and get these. And then you also go into the, the Strategies and you get all of these. And then once it's done with this, all you need to do is go back to your Parabot and compile. And as you can see, I don't get any errors. If you do get an error saying it doesn't find it, then you're going to want to go right-click on Compiler and click Edit and change your JDK version to whatever you get. Since I made you download the newest version, this is actually going to, instead of 11, be 13. And that's pretty much all you need to change. And then save it and it will work correctly. And um, that's pretty much it for those scripts, except if you want another script, let me let me find one. I didn't plan to do on this video, but um, I guess we'll pick a really quick script. As you can see, you just scroll down right here, and it shows all your scripts. I'm going to go and pick maybe this one out. Maybe this is it. Good. Yep. All right. If they have pastebin links, then they're most likely just one file. And sorry for my internet. It's very slow right now. I'm not really sure what's going on. All right, once you're here, you're just going to want to scroll down to the bottom, and you'll see the shortened version of it. It's in a box, and you can actually control A and control C to copy it all. And then from here, just open up Notepad, paste what you got, scroll all the way to the top, scroll down a little bit, and copy after public class the name of the script, not extends or anything after or before it. 
go to file save as paste what you just copied add job at the end and save it from here all you need to do is go to the compiling service that I'll put in the description and for source file one go to choose files go to where you just save that jar that dot Java which is right here open it and then go to your jar file one documents parabot all files click it open and that's it scroll down and choose your JDK version of 1.7 because you just redownload it and click compile it'll take about five to ten seconds once done it will tell you that it didn't have any errors unless it, the uh, scripts outdated and as you can see right here no errors were found after this you're gonna have to download all classes zip open the zip file and then leave this open as well as open your parabot um, folder Go into scripts, compiled, and just drag these into here. As you can see, I've already got it, so it'll just let you do that. And then you're ready to rock and roll. You can then, after that, go to run. Uh, you're going to want to run it in development mode because that's what it is. If it says it's not, um, if it says it's not, it won't run or whatever, it should. I don't see any problems with it because you don't need really a JDK version or Java version for that. But just log into your thing, choose the server we're on. All right, it's going to load up. Of course, it's going to do the annoying music that we all love so much. And I'm actually not going to need to log in, but once you go to play, as you can see, our flexing script is right here, and our cooking script is right here. So that's basically it. I hope that you guys enjoyed this tutorial, and I'll definitely make more on this site uh, for further more scripts. And I hope this solved a lot of your questions. I know I was confused before I got any help, so definitely doing this helped me. And um, that's pretty much it, guys. Uh, Hopefully this helped you. All right, bye.